Hi everybody, welcome back to the Tetrix RoboVenge video series. This is Tim. Today I wanted to cover um, an issue that we actually had some reports on and, and I, so I hopefully would like to clear that up a little bit. We had some reports from folks that were having trouble mounting the Tetrix wheels. So I want to kind of go over that and I can understand how there might be some confusion. So I want to cover that and maybe clear some of that up and make it a, a little bit easier for you to mount those wheels uh, however you need to. So the first thing that we probably want to uh, point out is there can be some confusion between the Tetrix um, axle hub and the motor shaft hub. They look very similar and I'm going to show these to you. Um, you can see they, they look very close. The only difference between the two is the inside diameter or the size of that center hole. And they're two different sizes. Um, the good thing is because they're two different sizes, uh, for one, the axle hub that's designed to go on the axles like this will only go on the axle. If I try and put that on the motor shaft, it's too small. It will not go on the motor shaft. The, obviously, the motor shaft hub will go on the motor shaft, so that's a good thing. But the bad thing, and this is, I think, where some folks are having issues, is it will also go over the axle. And this is where I think folks are having issues because if I try and put that motor shaft hub on an axle, a couple things are going to happen. Number one, it's going to be very hard to get that set screw down tight enough on the D part of the axle to actually make it um, secure. Um, so It's a little bit secure, but it's going to be very easy for that to actually strip out. The other thing is that if I, if I look at that, because of the extra size of that hole, it's very hard to get that shaft mounted, uh, not only square, but also you can see that it's off center. So what that's going to do is when I put a wheel on that, it's actually going to give me a cam action instead of a centered rotation. So that can cause issues as well. So I think that's where a lot of folks are having trouble is confusion between the two of the motor shaft hub and the axle hub. So what you want to do is basically, if you're in doubt, is try it. If, it's, um, if it fits and it, and it rotates um, centered on the uh, axle, it's probably the, the axle hub. There shouldn't be a lot of extra play around that. You want to go ahead and make sure that you get it centered. Go ahead and tighten that set screw down on the square deep shaft D part of the axle shaft so that it doesn't turn and then make sure that that's snug on that um, D part. It doesn't have to be super tight but you want it tight enough so that as torque is applied for the wheel to make that turn that it doesn't slip on that axle because it can gall and, and slip and, and cause issues is there. Once you have that mounted then if you're going to mount it through a channel obviously you can put your bushings in Maybe add a spacer on one of the nylon spacers to make sure you have room. I'll go through like that. You can put the other, um, either a set collar to hold this side, maybe even another uh, axle hub to, uh, again, tighten down on the D shape. And then you can go ahead and apply a wheel, whether it be a three inch uh, or a four inch. That will set down on that, and then you can go ahead and apply the uh, four screws, or socket head screws, rather, that will go ahead and tighten that hub down. So that's the main thing, is to make sure that you're using the proper, either the axle hub or the motor shaft hub in the proper application. Uh, so I hope you found that helpful. Again, if you have any kind of issues, please don't be afraid to call and talk to our customer service reps. They'd be happy to help answer anything um, and help you with those issues any way they can over the phone. Or you can email us, and we can also help via email. So, again, I hope you had that, found that helpful information. Please uh, enjoy building those robots and come back and see us, okay?